and Ethereal Alien Terror Medium Destroyer for Europe. You are like a super heavy armed escort thing for the terror ship, though you're not actually doing anything, I think. You're just a few days late to the party because I shot down your terror ship like the 10th of February, I think it was. Snake Man Harvest Team. Yeah, all right. This we should probably do. Interceptor damaged. <laughs> Squint size. Do it at night. That's all right. We're capable. It's really dark out there, though. Jeez. It's also jungle, which... Never really an ideal mission to be doing. Oh, they cannot fly. I guess that's something I should be doing. Get more of the flying suits and stuff. Maybe just give, like, everybody flying suits. Maybe I can even go with the Psy attack stuff for everybody, but, uh... I think I maintain, like, if you have less than 50 Psy strength, then you get a Psy defense or something like that. But generally make more of that stuff, I think, uh, is an order. Alright, goodbye back around. And she is hang tight. We don't see anything out there. I think I hear something. It's shooting. It's trying. Banshee just laughs at it, though. It's a muton. Uh. It's a sonic amplifier. I thought I put on the weaker thing for you. Uh, go for mind control. Here we go. Oh yeah, I think the mind control stuff was also modified a little bit. Uh, I don't quite remember what it used to be, or generally what was changed with it. I think it was, like, more potent, but more expensive or so, so it's less of a spamming thing. So you only get a couple tries, really. I, th I think? I don't know. That's changed, though, so... Maybe we take a look at the older... Man, we don't have, uh... We don't have, like, anything for timing nuts, dude. Ah! 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 Good, good shots, friend! Ah, uh, yeah. I always forget that that's, like, warning me that, hey, your person's damaged, but... It's not actually my person. It's the Muton. That's a stun grenade. Alien explosive grenade. You can only just barely get this out there. Um. Meep. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Okay, not enough sonic energy already. Okay. Way, way more energy drain. Yeah, mind control is super expensive energy-wise. Pure projector, not so much. Timing it cost is a percentage. Yeah, okay. So you can't mind control quite so many people. Which is okay. It's a dumb meta. There's another muton. <sighs> There's a snake man. Yeah. Take it. And then you we got 
Sopha that down. Uh, auto shot? Oh no. Throw it on your weapon? Ugh. Mutons can't kneel. I don't think any aliens can kneel, actually. I'm a little concerned for Banshees. Oh. oh. Try again. 38%'s not terrible. Slings back down below. So, Neophyte, how about a smoke grenade? Just kind of over the shoulder up onto the ship. What if you try harder? Oh. Well, now you don't have timing, it's for it. Now you're done and goofed it. Well done. Alright, courts. How about you? It's a pretty wild snapshot. 50% though. Incredible. <laughs> Just incredible. Very nice. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure how big the explosion was, if that would actually reach us while floating or not. Thankfully, no. So there's you again. Finished off. You blew up and died. You blew up and did not die. You're still standing, but the snake man is dead. Uh, I want to be able to kneel on a tree. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be fun. What if I... Drop a flare. Okay, that dropped all the way through, huh? Interesting. But line of sight... Would you be able to shoot through easily? Hm. Gives me ideas. Okay, the ship doors or so. This dude's gonna be pretty injured. Not gonna have too much life left. Not to mention all the fatal wounds that he's likely got. Easily done. And now... One flare in this right corner. And one more down by the ship. Ideally, like, inside the ship. It's okay if it's a bit of an awkward angle for you. I get it. Rogue, I'll tell you to throw it over here, expecting you to intentionally miss and huck it, like, into the ship inadvertently. Alright. Or you, or you do as you're told. It's like he can smell that I'm expecting him to go against me. He's very good at this. Uh... I got just like one or two more inside the ship, maybe. Kind of feeling like outside is likely clear in the inside of the ship because the roof is blown off. I think the ship is kind of hollowed out in there, so we won't be hearing too many ship door noises. I would think. And there's one. Goodbye in courts, like, at the ship. You can enter in from the rooftop that way. Banshees as well. Ooh, Banshees spots him. It's a snack. Pew. Headshot. Oh. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Row game shot through some bushes and stuff. How about Neophyte? With a grenade from across the map. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Got him. It wasn't the last one, though. <laughs> oh, the power armor strength is... It's a lot. It's a lot of strength. I think he's seeing it with Psy Vision. 
but maybe we can actually get a proper angle on him. Snake with the pistol, snake with the rifle. Go for the auto shot. Okay, no line of fire. And I can't tell if you actually see them because it flashes red regardless. Or if it's just like a side vision, like, yeah, I totally see him. Okay, so we'll head over here then. I think the door... Am I missing someone here? Thought I had three flying people. Oh yeah, Ban- oh yeah, yeah, Banshee assault us. Right, you didn't get the finish moving down. Right. But like, generally I like to have a couple people like on the roof. Just like on all fours, ears pressed against the ground, just like sniffing around, seeing where the enemies are inside, and then a kind of a fancier flying breach team can go in and do some of the more sophisticated cleanup. You had a rifle. Yeah. I think we might want to... Panic the heck out of you. You've been shot, so I don't think you got... <laughs> I'm so scared! <laughs> I don't think he got a whole lot of morale left over after all of that. And then... Oh, you're outside. Rogue, would you please? Another alien explosive grenade. Perfect. I mean, it fell a little short, but... Man. Well done. I just gotta get in there, clean up this... last guy. Who's going berserk and almost blowing himself up by shooting the furniture? Aha! I'm helping! There we go. 404 total. You know, now these data capsules are like. kinda worth farming for, I guess? Maybe? If you, like, feel like pen and papering and figuring exactly what you need. God. <laughs> Powered melee weapons, finally. There's the power knife, which I already had from before. The power baton. 10% of strength plus 10% of melee accuracy. Already doing 90 melee damage. There's the power sword doing 0 melee damage. 160% of strength plus 30% of melee accuracy. I mean... Jesus. <laughs> that's... That's a lot of damage. 160% of strength. Um... Yeah, he goes grab shields, all that's left for us. It's like, what do I got here for soldiers? Sort by strength. Luke is at 100. Oh, no, hold on. Ove with 131 strength. So 130 plus 60 percent. Well, plus uh, plus 160 percent off of off of zero damage, so. 100% plus 60%, I suppose, works as well, yeah. I mean, you're looking at some pretty solid damage, and that's ignoring melee accuracy. Another, like, 60% of that, I think it was. Yeah, that's, that's damage. That's, uh... You'll hurt a muton with that. <laughs> that's... That's wicked. The next question would be figuring out how the reactions are done, because there's a few different ways reactions can happen to where um, can they react to melee hits? And also, can they react to shots from behind? I think are like two separate settings that you can enable on the on stuff. Good 
Because sometimes, yeah, you can get away with just running up to them in melee and just going nuts on them and they don't have a chance to counter. And if they do, then you can attack from, from behind and they won't have a chance. Oh, sure, we'll begin that too. Daytime. Pretty much the same as before. We will mind control. He thought he was clever hiding behind the hill. He was wrong. Oh. <laughs> Didn't hurt him as much as you'd think it would. How many fatal wounds, though? That's the second question. Two. Okay. Not not so many at that either. Okay. Um, Money bottoms. Go for another one. Da da da. Uh. And then Rogue with the name shot. He's dead. He should blow up. Didn't take out the snake man though. Ah, that would have been cool. He was already bleeding, maybe from, like, the ship crashing. It, it could be an existing injury from the ship crash. I don't think that would have been the grenade. But hey, maybe. Who knows? Anything's possible. Goodbye. Put your ear against here. What, what do we have? You smell anything? Just the one. Seems to be just the one. Ta-da. 155 score. Really just doing this for points just to make sure that we're not actually taking this entire month off. <laughs> mm. I feel like going into... If the alien invasion is starting this next month because I've done the flagship, I don't really want to go into it with already having a negative month because I don't know what to expect with it. There's another harvest team doing stuff. I suppose I could take out an outpost. It may not be a bad idea. That's a pretty good way to get some points. Also, money. Hmm. Let's go for Alien Outpost 4. Uh, with the Tempest. I need to, like, rename these things into, like, Landing Craft, Fighting Craft, Downing Craft. <laughs> okay, you smell a very scary floater. Goodness. You're a jerk. <laughs> I lost the visual. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> this is a stun bomb right away. <laughs> like, imagine that from their point of view. <laughs> they're just like, okay, they're in, and the engineer steps around the corner, and the rookie with the stun bomb's like, ah! <laughs> Pulls the trigger. <laughs> Uh, is there just the one? How oh, about well, just the one embark spot? Okay. Yeah, then. We'll stand here, sniffing and listening around for anybody with our psi vision, our super noses. And if anyone uses those elevators, we'll know about it. I was kind of hoping to use the, uh... That's just a rifle. You should be fine. Okay. Kind of hoping to use that. I was going to launch that out, like, that way and just, you know, melt whatever's over there, because I don't care. Let them use their first turn. I thought this was a sectoid base. I'm okay with it being floaters, but... Just isn't what I expected. Can I mind control the dude who's knocked out? Okay.
Hello? Is there anybody up here? <laughs> Florence? <laughs> you doing okay, friend? This is the weirdest thing. He had this great wild look in his eye, and then he started speaking a strange, weird language. I think it was... English. He asked... Where I was. <laughs> Didn't know what to do, so I just shot. I just started shooting. You know, they better hope they lose this, actually, at the end. Because, like, imagine if they win, and they'll be like, What the f happened down there? What was all of that? <laughs> it's getting chewed out by... Sectoid Navigator. How do you... Oh, right, side vision. Right, I keep forgetting. This is actually a really cool spot to hang out for side vision stuff. And then Little Miss Cuddles with side vision. Also get you in there. Okay, we're also not sniffing anybody up above or anything, so I'm trusting y'all on this. Man, side vision is ridiculous. What a shot! Neophyte. Ah, oh, beautiful. We're not sure. Up oh, there he is. Rogue with the cool car wheel out. Oh. Oof, turned to ash. I love the overkill animations. It'd be cool if they like actually like into like a actual like ash pile on the ground. Oh right, you have side vision. You totally could have just spotted him from before. You throw this up into the air, quick draw this, a snapshot, actually it should be a quick shot, really. Fire off two quick rounds, and then you reholster it, and you catch the, th the thing again. And then you roll back to the side. Oh, money bottoms. That was a thing of beauty. Okay, and this dude is... Yeah, this dude's dead. I'm taking his cool gun, though. Like, uh... Yeah, no, I can't use that. I'm taking it, though. I don't care. Even better. Just murder the guy. Oh, right, yeah, I knew about that guy. All right, he was... he was ours. So what is your energy recharge, then? Oh, oh that's how much health... no, that, that is recovery. A quarter of your health... And... Oh, wait, that's energy. Psionic energy, 17. Okay, <laughs> that's why you... I was like, why did this, this get so complicated? <laughs> Okay, 17 energy per turn, and it takes you, like, 30 to do a... 40. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. So, mind control's got a bit of a cooldown on it, which is fine. I mean, I again, I think that's just, like, such a dumb meta. I'm only doing it because I never get to do it, and I don't care anymore at this point. <laughs> I won this war, gosh darn it. I won it fair and square. Also see a sectoid up there. Uh, through a wall a bit, huh? Okay, alright. Good to know. Keep an eye on them. We'll be waiting. Is 
this like a watchtower or is that a separate room? Hmm. Okay, and I think that's the floater friend that we've been abusing. Yo. <laughs> hey, hey, Hubert. <laughs> How you doing, friend? <laughs> uh, why are you putting that gun in my throat? <laughs> but he doesn't quite have enough time to actually do anything. And then he blinks twice. And then he's like, oh, that was weird. And then he starts twitching again all over. <laughs> and they took me again. <laughs> <laughs> you have like three time units of being yourself. What a way to go. Little must cuddles just spying on them with their nose. Hey, relax, dude. Yeah, pistol. That makes sense. And then the one is still upstairs. Yeah. I want to bring you down from up there. Insectoid leader, nonetheless. What's all that noise? In, like, perfect English. <laughs> See, Rogue being like friendly fire champion actually really super works out regarding mind control. I'm just playing to the strengths, all right? Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, that was it. <clears throat> I forgot how easy outposts were. <laughs> 981 repositories, yellow, blue, and green. No, uh, none of the fancy ones. I don't know if we find the fancy repositories in the outposts. There might be, what, just bases and... Where else did I get them? I Probably at the mothership. I don't really count the mothership, though. That seems like a quite rare ship to find. Yeah, storage space. Well, transfer to North America, the, um, the repository. Stories. They take up a decent amount of space. I'll probably sell them just to have almost infinite money. Oh. Um. Hmm. Transferred over, like, a lot of the alien stuff that we've got. A quarter of a million cost to transfer it over. But it actually told me that they were getting full. So. Yeah! It's. It's happening! So, you know what that means. Build more general stores. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Alright. Hmm. So, score-wise, I think we can, like, largely ignore a bunch of stuff again. Yeah, there's all that. Terror ship doing terror things in Europe. Terrorize the water. Actually, don't do that. I'm not ready for terror from the deep yet. Get those shields out of here. Oh, I right, just disintegrate you in midair. With light fusion, nonetheless, like that heavy fusion stuff, man. I'm like a little bit afraid of what we might be fighting down the road, alien ship wise, where I would be needing that heavy plasma or heavy fusion ball launcher. That's a shift delete. That's that's there's the there's no coming back from that. That's just the end of it. Yeah, supply ship. We get pinged about it twice. There's grav shield. Allows our stuff to fire again. Double the effectiveness. Which I don't know. Maybe. Like if I get that stuff done, hey, you guys have nothing to do anymore. Literally no research is left to do. That's so crazy. Maybe I build a grav thing. Because, like, if I do get enough defenses up there, 
And I don't even have to care about the scouts detecting us because we can just like shoot them down. Like with our base. It does require a bit of the stuff. Missing some generators still. And I'm pretty sure the effectiveness doesn't double if I have more. Yeah, max allowed per base one. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know, maybe? Not a lot of room in there, though. I'm, I'm kind of okay with just shooting down anybody who snoops around too much. I'm alright with it. There's an alien retaliation. Alright. Not quite. I'll Tempest out and do you real quick, too. Why not? Extra, extra score. We already smell one. We landed. This building just explodes. <laughs> what happened in there? <laughs> Who knows? Okay. End the first turn. Oh my gosh, what happened? Ew. By the way. That's disgusting. Where did it go? It's a little scary. Butters? Excellent. Nice attack of opportunity, bro. <laughs> That's great. I like that. That's fun. Ugh, he's a bit high. And butters. Ah, yeah, okay. That's fair. Money bottoms. Yeah. You're in the way. Ugh. How do they melee? I want to melee. I want to go around with the snake man and headbutt people. That sounds fun. That's a mind control I can get behind. Man, just give you a really, really bad migraine. Banshees, what else do we got out there, friend? What's the world like? What's it say? It says there's a muton over there, apparently. Just that guy who's very much panicking, and I don't think I'll have to worry about too much. I gotta get, like, Thundeer out there. I think Thundeer's got the least amount of kills out of everybody. As he shoots Ove in the back. <laughs> got one! No Thundeer, not like that! Oh my god, you can actually go Berserk with that? I thought he was just going to panic. Jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. 
We got the... A wounded chrysalid and a muton. Not enough energy for the chrysalid. What? Money bottoms. Then give it a rough day. And Ove, maybe don't be on the ship. I'm not really liking our chances here. Thunder, stay back. And... Butters, just recuperate a minute. Yeah. Good job, Thunder. A reaction kill against a Chrysala deserves a trophy. Well done. They gotta move a lot for them to be eligible for a reaction shot. They have... So many time units. Last. Last, I need to recover more. Ugh. Again, I like the change though. I think that's a, that's a fine change. So you're also coming outside. We're both ready for you. hear them, but we don't see them. About now. Yes! Yes! <sighs> Can't pick up stuff. Thunder, Chrysalid Slayer! It still counts! <laughs> and then a Snake Man off in the opposite corner. Uh, for you, I think we'll work over towards... Ove, keep watch on this door, though, just in case something really wild happens. I don't know what that would be. There are still two around, though. There's a Snake Man in the far corner out there. Lomas Cuddles can probably grenade it. Hmm. I don't know what's over there. Hopefully it's dead, whatever it is. It's just like hanging out inside the ship over there. Just do be a little bit weary of the, uh... The chrysalid upstairs is only bleeding out unconscious. It's not actually dead. Yeah. You can smell me, huh? I can take you one-on-one. -on -one. No problem. So I think the terror mission this time is uh, definitely cancelled. I don't know if crashing them over water actually works, but we shot down the ship and then did the mission. So. I don't want to hear it. And we'll divert for this guy, maybe get you over the water too, just a retaliation thing. Uh, 